Hi, can you guys see me? It's really crazy because it's getting dark, but the sky is still like giving me enough light to do my video. Um, to do my video. Okay. I had a pimple right here. I don't know how. Like, why? Why is it right there? Now I left a mark. For what? For what? But anyway, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all been? So, I was out in these streets trying to door dash and ain't nothing popping off. And now it's getting dark. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, oh, calm down, girl. I'm a nervous. Nelly, when it start getting dark, y'all know it's it like it usually get dark at nine, but now it's getting closer to fall, which is whack because our summer was whack. But I'm alive and I'm thankful. Praise the Lord. But, um, I'm a nervous Nelly when it get dark and now it's getting dark at 8 o'clock so it's like I really gotta start um, bringing that in early you know cause it's crazy people out here they stealing and killing women and kids so um be <laughs> better be safe than sorry <laughs> so anyway um I have so much to tell y'all and I said I was gonna write it down but did I write it down? no I didn't I forgot to write it down Mm, mm, mm. so anyway y'all how is this school stuff going for y'all i started um my son on k-12 which is the at home online thingamabobber and it is so much work so much work why is it so much work i'm frustrated my son is overwhelmed it's just so much like I'm truly over it. I really, I just want, I wish it could go back to normal, but it's not going to. And I'm not going to ruin my child by sending him to school with a mask. I mean, if that's what you want to do, fine, but I'm not doing that. Because we don't know the effects that this will have on our kids psychologically, so. No, but anyway. So, yeah, it's just so much. And then their, I guess their system, their servers are overwhelmed because it's met more people than normal because of what's going on. And so now stuff has been down, you know? And so it's like, it's just so hard for us to get on a schedule and for me to help him. Cause I'm a hands on type of person. I need books, books. I need a book in my hand. I need to, what page are we reading today? Mrs. Klonmeister? What is Mr. Klonmeister? I don't know who Mrs. Klonmeister is, but what page are we on Mrs. Klonmeister? okay 67 okay we gotta read from 67 to 72 okay i can find all the information here that i need to study okay that's the type of person i am i don't like going to ten thousand different folders trying to figure out how to do this and how to do that this quiz is over here this test is over here this study guide is over. like I, it drives me insane why why do i want to do all that so this is so annoying to me so I'm going to see if I can put him in his old school, but uh, y'all like my cup? Do y'all like my cup? Cup, cup. Said, do you like my cup? Cup, cup. You know where I got it from. You know where I got it from. It was only a dollar ninety-nine. It was only a dollar ninety-nine. Do you like my cup? <laughs> oh, I can't show y'all what that's there on the back. I'll show you another time. It's cute though. But I looked this cup up. It was like eighteen dollars. I'm like, eighteen dollars? Eighteen dollars for a cup? You want eighteen dollars for a cup? You tripping? Not on my watch not on my watch <laughs> oh y'all so <laughs> let me tell you about my crazy self i hope y'all can hear me each one so let me tell you about my crazy self so um why in our basement right there was water in our basement when we first moved there there was water in our basement when we ran the dishwasher so they came in and switched up the dishwasher and then it didn't flood anymore not flood but there wasn't puddles of water anymore so then, the next time um, 
like a month or two later, there was water on the floor again. I'm like, where is this water coming from? Then it would disappear and then it's not there. So Sunday, Sunday night, Monday morning, the, there was puddles of water in our basement. But they were sporadic, like puddle here, puddle there, puddle here, puddle there, puddle all the way over there. And they weren't connecting. So I'm like, where is this water coming from? Is it coming through the ground? Like, what is going on? And so I told my honey, and he went down there and looked. He's like, like I don't know, but he don't be wanting to deal with it because he'd be working all a bunch of hours and he'd be tired, whatever, whatever. So I'm home most of the day. And so I called the people and I'm like, hey, I got water in my basement. I don't know where it's coming from. I need somebody over here. She's like, okay, I'll send someone over. And so it was 12 30. I'm thinking she's going to send somebody over. Nobody ever comes, right? So the water kind of dried up a little bit. And then um, it was fine Monday. I didn't say nothing for the rest of the day. And then Tuesday came. The rest of the day, nothing. And then Wednesday, it happened again. So, um, I get angry. And so, um, I type up this letter. This company is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe you guys can't send someone over here. There's water in my basement. And I don't understand if water in the basement is an emergency, then what the heck is? Like, I, I wanted to really go in, but I didn't. And so um, she was like, uh, so um, I sent that email at like eight o'clock and I was trying to go on to put in a maintenance request. Why you got to be right in front of me? Like for what? Turn your lights off, you dumb dummy. Why? Like, I know you see me sitting here. This is what I can't stand about people. Like you see me sitting in the car, your bright ass lights are flat. Fl I can't even talk. When I, when I get angry, I get flustered and my words start running together. <laughs> Thank you, you stupid little stupid. Now I'm seeing colors. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, oh my gosh. Hope everyone's okay. The ambulance. But anyway, so um, here, um, I sent the email or whatever. And so um, my honey came and, was, and I was sweeping the water to the drain, you know, in the basement. And I'm like, I don't know where this water is coming from. I don't understand. So he used to move in the washer and the dryer around. And he's like, honey. And he looks at me and he picks the hose up off the floor. So the hose from the washer <laughs> was um, out of the little thing, which caused the water to leak and cause puddles. <laughs> but in my defense, I didn't know that that was happening. And when I called and told you that I had water in my basement, that's an emergency and you should have came and help me figure out where the water was coming from. Do I feel bad about sending that email? No, I do not. Because you still were not on top of your game when I called you in need of maintenance help. Exactly. And then let um, they they come and um, put a notice on my door talking about your um, home insurance is up and you're you have to pay seven dollars and your rent's not paid in full until you pay seven dollars that we took and applied home insurance to your account without even letting you know like who do that like i had insurance you lost the papers but here's another copy since you don't have it like so i don't feel bad about what i did at all at all <laughs> so she comes texting me I mean, sending me an email earlier. I was like, I'm so sorry. I, um, I'll have someone come right over. And so I emailed her back like, don't even worry about it. My honey took care of it. If we need you, we will call you. <laughs> oh, I don't know how that little water thing came out. <laughs> but I'll remember next time. That's what happens when there's water on the floor. <laughs> I was like, oh, girl, you crazy. Oh, man. But the reason I thought it was something like that, because we've been having problems with this place since we moved in. Like, I've been sent, I've probably sent about 20 maintenance requests in since I've been there. So, it's not me. It's them. D-E-M. It's them. It ain't me. 
But you know what, guys? I'm going to go because it's getting dark around here. And it's just not safe sitting in parking lots when it's dark. So I'm going to leave you guys. And I hope you're enjoying my videos. I'm going to try very, very hard to keep this out. I'm actually enjoying it. And actually, since DoorDash is tripping, I am going to like put more effort into my videos. And maybe some of my other channels. I hope you guys support. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate you. Remember to smile because you're beautiful. And remember to love yourself because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Until next time, guys. Bye.